taking its toll on the beaches there. Yeah, let's go to uh, WTVD meteorologist Scott Dean, who's there live from uh, Pine Knoll Shores. Hey, Scott, we were there with you guys about an hour and a half ago, and it was nothing like we're seeing now with you. This is unreal. It's really picked up. It, it really is amazing. Uh, this storm has made landfall right around the lookout. And we're now on the backside of the storm, and about uh, 45 minutes ago, the winds were very, very light, but they quickly switched out of the northwest and west, and they are ripping through here. I would say uh, gusts maybe as high as 60 miles an hour. At times, I'm having trouble standing here. As we pan up to the ocean here, looking southward, this is a south-facing beach. We're at Pine Knoll Shores, and uh, you can see how the breakers are still coming in, and the spray is being uh, blown quick, quickly off towards the uh, left there. Now, we're on a bar barrier island, so there's not a lot of damage where we're seeing right here along the immediate coast, but it's it's inland flooding. It's, it's over towards the sound, where we have a sound right behind us, and all that water is being pushed up into homes behind us, and there are a lot of piers that are being uh, flooded out in boats, and we're understanding that there are some neighborhoods that are being flooded out, and that will be the case all the way up the coast from the Pamela. Albemarle Sound and portions of the Outer Banks as well. So even though this storm has weakened, boy, it certainly doesn't feel like it because uh, these winds are, are just ripping in, and eventually we are going to see things begin to calm down. But areas to the north, up along the coast, New Jersey and New York, are going to be experiencing some of these winds that we're experiencing right now. Reporting live from Pine Knoll Shores, North Carolina, back to you guys. Thanks for braving the storm for us, Scott. That's we like appreciate it. Be careful. All right, let's go now to some new video of Tico Cruz leaving Tampa for the D.C. area. About four